Revelation 1611a. From the 14th of September 1940. Free will indispensable for redemption. Self salvation. By virtue of his free will, a human being has the power to redeem himself, he is only weak and powerless without the application of the means of grace, without the supply of spiritual strength. Grace is everything God administers to the human being in his love if he desires it. To stand in God's grace means to be constantly cared for by his love, and this love intervenes wherever the human being is in danger. If his soul is in danger, divine love will help him as long as the human being does not resist this help himself. The most effective means of grace is prayer. Prayer is the means of receiving unmeasured graces, that is strength and help again and again in all needs and sufferings of the soul. Prayer causes the good spiritual beings to place themselves at the human being's disposal, that is to give the strength they possess in abundance to the person requesting strength and prayer, for then the human being's free will has been active to request strength from God. Prayer is therefore a means of receiving unmeasured grace. And another means of grace is the activity of love. For with every act of unselfish neighborly love divine grace flows to him in the form of divine love, and this surges the human being into ever more active love, and only through love does the human being redeem himself, thus the strength in the human being becomes stronger the more he practices love and thereby receives God's grace, that is increased strength for his self-redemption. No strength or grace can flow to the human being who merely fulfills any form, his innermost heart must urge him to pray and love. Only then can grace be imparted to him. And sorrow, sickness and affliction are evidence of divine love, for they are intended to bring the human being into the state to apply the means of grace, thus to implore help in prayer and to become active in love for his neighbor and God thereby directs people such that they desire to stand in the rays of the divine Son of Grace, he so to speak offers them the means of grace so that they make use of them. The spiritually perfect person, however, is of the same will as God and, as the executor of his will, equally endeavors to influence the beings on earth such that they make use of the means of grace. They stimulate the human being's will to be lovingly active and to appeal to God for his use of strength. Only then will free will be used correctly, then the human being will be able to redeem himself, for he will do everything with God's help, he will make use of God's grace and thus live in and with God. Amen.